LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks, uh, been been um, kind of absent for about a day from the videos, uh, taking a break and also watching just a lot of film of Holly and Chris. Um, and sometimes I do that, you know, watching videos or watching uh, vid uh, films and break and just looking at films for breakdown. That's more of a relaxation to me. And, you know, you just kind of get tired of making videos and making that during promo, boy. <laughs> That took a lot of time, so I'm kind of like, uh, I need I need to stop for a minute. But um, I want to talk about this. Um, I want to talk about Cecilia Breck is coming in to help Chris Cyborg. This is twofold. <clears throat> okay, this is very very twofold. Uh, Cecilia Breck is wants to fight Cyborg, and she can't stand Holly Holm. That's why I say it's twofold. Cecilia Breck is don't like Holly Holm, and Cecilia Breck is wants to beat up Holly Holm. She wants to fight. And Cecilia Brackett also is interested in a fight with Cyborg. So Cecilia would love to get in there and just really see how Chris Cyborg is, her strength, power, mannerisms, all this other stuff. So I see why Cecilia Brackett jumped on the opportunity to go in the camp with Chris Cyborg. Um, you know, it, it just is. And Chris Cyborg want to get all the boxes that she can in there, the, the good boxes. Because Holly Holm, you know, she was a pretty good boxer in her day when she was boxing. She wasn't a bad boxer, you know. Uh, she didn't have a lot of knockouts, but, you know, it, it was very special for a woman to have a lot of knockouts. Like, everybody didn't have power like like Lucia Riker. Everybody didn't have that, okay? Holly Holm, her power is good, but, you know, she didn't have, like, an abundance of knockouts. So, you know, she, Chris Cyborg, got two slick fighters, okay, in that gym. Uh, she got Mia St. John, and she got Cecilia Brackets, and, wow, that if that can't give you good work, I don't know who can, Okay. They gave Cyborg probably some of the best work that she's ever had. And if she bring in Clarissa Shields, good grief. It's, it's going to be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap. And Chris Cyborg, so for people who are thinking that Chris Cyborg is just, you know, not taking Holly home very seriously, taking her lightly, you know, you people wrong. Chris Cyborg, uh, this, is an, this is probably an expensive camp for her. This is very expensive, okay? I can tell you that right now. This is very expensive. And, uh... But she's doing this. So, you know, for everybody to say that Chris is really after a bunch of money, that's not it because I think after this is over, I don't even know Chris is going to be able to clear 150000 for herself because of the expensiveness of the training camp. I mean, it's, it's, this is a good camp. And Chris, she's not taking Holly lightly, man. She's not. So that debunks anything that Chris is trying to take Holly lightly. She don't think Holly's good. Chris Cyborg know Holly Holm is a good fighter. See, you know, unlike a lot of us online, and I'm putting myself in there too, Unlike a lot of us, you know, Chris Cyborg is more realistic. And when I say realistic, she knows that Holly is actually a fighter that steps into the cage. And she knows that, yeah, one shot could be it. It could be a one shot stop, one shot stop shopping center when it comes to Holly Holm. It, it just can't. So Chris Cyborg is, is, is a realist, and she understands this. So she's treating this fight like this the toughest fight of her career. And a lot of people are arguing me down and say that this is the toughest fight of her career, but I, I don't think this will be the toughest fight of her career. I think it's going to be a difficult fight, I guess, if the fight goes past two rounds. But this, this won't be the toughest fight of her career. It just won't. Looking at the style up stylistically, it's no, that's just how I feel. But I'm going to do <coughs> keys to breakdown later on tonight. But... The reason, you know, and Cyborg was really just excited about these sparring partners because, you know, you're getting the best in the business, you know. You're getting the best in the business of boxing. And these sparring partners, they're going to help Chris Cyborg. And you throw, um, you, if you throw a Clarissa Shields in there, well, now, now that, that, that this Cyborg, I mean, this uh, training camp, it, it went from, you know, just it, it just went from Goku to Goku, you know, Ultra Instinct. That's how, this, that's how this training camp for Chris Cyborg going. She's not holding back. This girl doing everything she can to dominate this fight against Holly Holm. She's doing everything. But in my keys to victory, I'm also talking about that I think the old Chris Cyborg need to come out. Because me, I don't think trying to play a, a point game against Holly Holm, see, I don't think that's, that's smart because if you play the range game with Holly Holm, she can just stand back, throw a lot of jabs that won't do much damage, but, you know, they'll touch you some way. And then, you know, Holly would just, Holly home and mess around and win a bunch of rounds on you. And some people get mesmerized by that. Like, Holly will stand back, she'll throw them kicks, and then she'll throw them jabs. And the jabs, she don't even mean them to do damage. She just wants the jabs to touch you. Holly home will mess up and win a bunch of rounds. And before you know it, you look up like, dang, 
I'm losing this fight. And I ain't even got touched one time severely. That's that's Holly Holm. That, that's just that's what she can do. So, you know, Chris Cyborg, she better be, you know, if she played that, 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 that range game with Holly, it's not going to be good. Now, the old Cyborg of old, that's the Cyborg we need. And Jason Perillo, he need to shut up and tell her, look, okay, go for broke. <laughs> go for broke. Yeah, load that right hand. Load it. That's right. Load it. Load it, Chris. Load it. Get in her grill. But I'm going to show y'all a couple of things too, man. I'm going to show you a few things and then break down and that keys to victory that I think the Cyborg is going to utilize. Because I saw some things in the Tanya Evinger fight that Cyborg did that it's kind of like she cut off these options. This new version of Cyborg, this, this version cuts off a lot of the options that you try to do. The old Cyborg didn't really... She didn't really try to cut the options off. She just, you know, whatever you hit her with, she just dealt with it and kept coming forward. This cyborg is taking away uh, offenses. So it's kind of like this is a much more dangerous cyborg, but the cyborg of old that, you know, would just come right at you and just go ahead and just get you out of it. That's the cyborg we're going to need for this fight. But it, all in all, all in all, to me, it's, it's a good camp. Now, I know Holly is getting some good work. You know, she's got John Jones in that camp. She got Michelle Waters in there, you know. She's getting some really, really good work in her camp. I, I just think Chris is doing more. And two, this is going to be more like a mental edge for Chris Cyborg because, you know, I, deep down as a fighter, you know, you got to be like, wait a minute, Chris Cyborg is sparring with my biggest rival? Really? I mean, why, why is she sparring with my biggest rival? I mean, what, what, what the heck? You know, that, that's got to be going through their mind. And I don't care what anybody say. Yeah, that's got to be going through their mind. If I was a fighter, I'd be like, wait a minute, why is she sparring with my rock? Whoa, hold up. Hold the press. Somebody stop the press. And I'd be thinking, how is Holly and Mike Winkle John going to explain all of this? How are they going to explain this? See, that, 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 that's what would be going on through my head. I, I would be thinking this. But, you know, yeah, man, that's, that's good. That's good by Cyborg to, you know, go ahead and, and really just go get that work. <laughs> She's getting that work. She's going to go get it. And Chris is, is training, man, extremely hard, man. Like, you go, you go and look at some of Chris Cyborg's training videos, man. Good grief. Like, this woman, I think she's on a whole nother level, mentally, spiritually, physically. She's just there, man. And she is, she's there to just completely dominate this fight. And I think Chris, from the way she training, I, man, she, she building her cardio up to the max. And she's doing like a lot of strength training, man. She's doing a lot of that stuff to actually go and get that knockout. I, I, just, I think Chris trying to knock her out, man. I'm to my, I think that's what the deal is. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think, okay? This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison, and I'm done. Subscribe to the Best Women's MMA platform on YouTube.